New York is a, an important piece of the show because the financial center of the world is here. New York is a character in the show. That's why they want to film it in and around New York. It all takes place in that world. And it was very important for the showrunners, Brian Koppelman and David Levine, that everything was authentic. And that whether you live in New York or don't, it meant something that we were shooting in these real places. You know, there's nothing better than shooting in New York City. We were down at the Customs House on Friday night shooting. And when you shoot, especially in the financial district, late on Friday, everybody's gone and nobody cared. Everybody left us alone. We were just there in like the sunset in front of this beautiful building. It was awesome. It was really great. It was a very challenging location because a lot of those types of iconic New York structures are already named and that naming is in perpetuity. I will pay them $25 million to allow me to replace their family name with mine. Then I will donate the 100 and you can begin your renovations. So it's very hard to change or allow them to let you change it on film for such an iconic place. So now the Axelrod name will be forever affixed to this building for all time. Or until some guy richer than me wants it to come down. I was very happy the show was set here. I know that a lot of the geographical locations and specific locations, whether it's restaurants like Babo or Cipriani's in Wall Street, specific places that we went to film were very important to Brian and David in terms of kind of setting it in the places where these people really would go and have these meals. Um, you'll notice in the show that food is a big part of the show. The writers like food and they know all the great restaurants. People with money are always going out to the really nice places and doing deals and Chuck is always kind of noshing on some interesting not so expensive cuisine and making his own deals. What are you eating there, cabbage? Yeah, goy ba. Uh -huh. Delicious. You know, there's more to bomb me than bread. If you say so. So that's a fun part of the show to me. Bibimbap? You of all people, it's, it's fucking mall food. What, good, vegetarian? Yeah, you think you keep you thin. Well, at least put some kimchi on it. For fuck's sake, come on. Oh. <laughs> Attaboy. The kimchi scene with Brian and Chuck was a Koreatown restaurant, but we shot at Dokibi in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Action. A very uh, good restaurant and fit the scene really well. The restaurants we used are all very iconic restaurants. They have a real aesthetic behind them and a purpose in the show to show the different worlds that these two characters live in. Caparello's Pizza is a location that we found near one of our stages and it's a perfect a representation of Axe's past. This place is the pizza of my youth. He's been making it just like this since I was a kid. You know, <clears throat> normally somebody wants to waltz with me. I find myself sawing a 20 ounce ribeye on the east side with a $500 Cabernet. I am different from the other children. The challenges of shooting in New York in a series like this is making all the locations work near our center. When I came onto the series after the pilot, I was actually in a very fortunate position. The location manager, Audra Gorman, from the pilot had found locations that were willing to be used again for the full run of the series. For example, the Axelrod Mansion was a home that the owner was still designing and working on, so it was empty for another seven, eight months while we shot. Also, the office building that plays as Axelrod's office was empty and in between sales, and that became open as well. So it's a very good thing to be able to use the same locations. Oftentimes, you'll do a pilot, and then there'll be a big switch over between episode one and episode two, and you'll notice some stark differences as things move into sets. And actually being able to film these scenes on location, I think, made a huge difference. Axe Capital is the set that we took over a building in Orangeburg, and that was already architecturally what we wanted. And then we augmented the glass, his office and the conference room, things like that. We dressed the entire thing. Artwork was really important. Billionaires, hedge fund guys have an extensive blue chip art collection. 
So this was an opportunity for us to show his level of success, and, and they like to show off their work also. Hey, come in. We were lucky to have this location in Orangeburg for Axe Capital, which is actually a really architecturally amazing building. Quite a lot of challenges, uh, you know, in terms of his windows everywhere, and it's very white, which, you know, traditionally cinematographers are a little bit hesitant about using. But it actually worked out, I think, very well. When I first went there, I got very excited by the geometry in there. There's all these lights that recede down the ceiling, and it had a lot of interesting angles that Neil Berger, who directed the pilot in episode two, really liked and wanted to use and to make some quite dynamic compositions in there. The other nice thing, which I think you see if you watch the whole series, is the fact that it has all these windows around the whole building means that you really do see the surroundings and you see them change from what was winter when the pilot was shot all the way through summer to autumn, back to winter by the time we get to episode 12. One of the main things I found this season on Billions was how important it was to be in the authentic real places that we wanted these scenes to be in. Harder and more challenging, my favorite places are the public places, the parks. We shot in the Brooklyn Promenade, which has a beautiful view of the city. We shot in Battery Park City. We shot by Bryant Park in Times Square. I love those because it has such a great effect on the episodes. You really get the feel and energy of the city. Everything you see far and away are real people getting to work and doing what they need to do, so it really has an energy to it. It might not mean something to someone outside of New York, but it, it mattered for the show and actually brought a high level of authenticity to our story.